Today I'm going to be showing you guys why I believe UNC Asheville is one of the most underrated and overlooked college campuses here in North Carolina. My name is Shiv NC and let's take a look around. Now when you think of colleges here in North Carolina, especially the UNC's, the first ones that probably come to mind are the standard Chapel Hill, Charlotte, maybe even Wilmington, and rightly so because all of them have a much higher enrollment than UNC Asheville. Hell even UNC Pembroke, which to be frank is in the middle of nowhere, has double the enrollment than right here. But that's part of the beauty of it because I don't really know anyone or have any friends that go here unlike at the ECU and NC State videos. So it really is just this whole place to explore. But I guess with that smaller enrollment comes a much smaller campus. From what I'm seeing right now, that small campus, all of it seems to be very beautiful. I parked over by the Union and I was instantly greeted by this stairwell that goes through these trees right here, which was really nice. And I'm in this little brick area which has tables over here. A massive field behind it which I'll go check out later. I'll also go check out the Union see if I can get into it. And this building right here which actually looks fairly modern and it doesn't leave me guessing which building it is unlike some of the other colleges because it says right in front Rhodes Robinson Hall is for, I don't know how well you can read it, but it's for those subjects right there. Seems to be pretty much all of the STEM ones. At first I thought UNC Chapel Hill, which is where I go, was special for our quad but now I'm sort of realizing that pretty much every college has one and Asheville is no exception to that. This one, you could argue, is even better because this whole campus is nestled in the Appalachian Mountains. There's no visible like mountain peaks or anything from what I can see from here, but you definitely get the feeling that you're in that type of location. And I guess one other thing I should mention is one of the instant differences and in nice parts about this campus is that it is a summer day in mid-July right now and it is 68 degrees. So nice and I could get used to that. Except I guess the opposite side of that is that it probably gets super cold here in the winter. Here at the top of the quad is where it seems their main library. At least I assume that there's no more libraries on this small of a campus. It's called Ramsey Library and it is very picturesque being in front of all of that with the mountains behind it. But let's see if we can go in. That's tough. Right now it says that it's closed to UNC Asheville students and staff. But even if I found someone to let me in, down there it says it is closed today no matter what. So, oh well, I guess I will go look up some pictures of the inside of this library and see if it matches up to how nice it looks from the outside. To the right of the quad is Lipinski Hall, which, is, which I'm in front of right now. And the door is cracked open a little bit, so... I guess I can go in. I really hope I didn't just lock myself out, but the inside looks pretty, pretty standard, can't lie. I assume this is just another one of those class buildings. There's definitely an auditorium in front of me with these like two big doors. And upstairs, it seems to be like a lot of smaller classrooms with computers and stuff like that. There's like a mini terrace right there, an elevator. Oh, the terrace is the music department practice area. I guess it's the building of music then? And wait, maybe not. This says humanities on it, so maybe it's just a blend of them. I don't know. Moving over to behind the quad. Curious to see if there's anything, but I think I should mention that I noticed about this campus is that unlike pretty much every single other UNC campus, parking is like, there's a lot of parking here. And I guess that's just relative to the amount of students there are because there's obviously a lot less here, but everyone, including freshmen can park pretty easily. And I looked at the prices and they're like pretty dang cheap too. If you're thinking of going here, that is definitely a benefit. Yeah, behind there was just like another green area. Oh, get away flies. That's one of the downsides of being in the mountains is there's bugs everywhere. Other than that greenery, there's just a few more standard buildings. This one I'm in front of is white side hall it has a lot of subjects on it like classics history humanities philosophy so i guess this is more of the social studies type building the one i'm really interested to see is this one up in front of me called owen hall because it's on top of this really big hill so that must mean it's important right <laughs> this building definitely looks neat but it says no entrance on it because active construction is going on so i guess they're renovating it or something either way that's really cool and Oh, there's definitely a construction guy staring at me right now. But yeah, I wonder what this building is used for. Because from what I've seen so far, it's the nicest building on campus. Moving back over, I thought we hit the quad again. But no, that's Belk Theater, so that's not the library. And it's just a whole nother green area. It's not 
as big as the other quad, but still super nice. Carmichael Hall over there, which looks pretty funky from the outside. Seems to be their psych building. That one was also restricted for access. But what's funny is the psych building at UNC Chapel Hill and this one, they both have designs that are like completely different from the rest of campus. I don't know if there's a connection there, but that's just a funny thing that I noticed. Okay, maybe not the most unique because that like triangular building over there, that's also part of this lecture hall, but it looks so different. I don't even know what's going on with the buildings in this place, but it's kind of cool, I can't lie. As I circle around and see that I'm already back at the main quad, it's making me realize how small this campus really is. Like at UNC, it would have taken me at least an hour, maybe even more, to go around from the quad and circle back to it. But I walked around there for like 15, 20 minutes and I'm already back here. It probably just comes down to personal preference, whether you like that or you're like me and you'd prefer like a pretty extensive campus with a lot of different routes and places to go to. There's a mini little disc golf course there. So that's something else. But yeah, as I walk down, I guess this is the main street of the campus. I pretty much only have the union left to see. Actually, no, I, I haven't seen a dorm yet. And I do not think I missed it back there. So that's probably around this area too. Let's find out. Oh yeah, these have, these have got to be residence halls just from the way that they're structured. But look at the view you get from these, especially if you're on the other side of it. Just check this out. Just straight overlooking the mountains or if you're on this side, the campus, that's so cool. All right, let's uh, let's check out Highsmith Student Union. I'm praying we'll be able to go in. Oh shoot, it is open. All right, let's see. All right, well, I guess I have to say it again. Once again, we have another student union that outclasses Chapel Hills. <sighs> that sucks. Like, this place is actually massive. Like, it really could compare to Tally in size. I take back what I said about this campus being too small. This definitely makes up for it. They have, like, screening rooms for all of the mountains nearby, like Pisgah, Lookout. That's, I don't even know what that is, but that's cool and it's a good ode to like the location of UNCA. Oh, that makes me even more mad at UNC. But yeah, that was, that was really cool. I think the bookstore is in there too. It was closed right now, but this seems to be the main hub of campus. I also realized that I haven't seen a dining hall or a gym yet, but the dining hall is actually right there. That building that's right next to the Union. So this seems to be where a lot of people are going to be spending most of their time. Just kidding. These seem to be the main freshman dorms. Mills Hall, Founders Hall. They're all right by the Union and Dining Hall, which means their location is really good. Again, they're like parallel to the other ones I saw earlier, so both also have great views. Can't get in them, unfortunately, but I'll try to put some pictures of the inside here. All right, well, as I drove around, I realized I did miss another pretty significant part of campus. The whole recreation side, so like all of the sports fields, the rec center, gymnasium, all of that stuff is right on the southwest corner of campus. It's pretty nice that they're all right next to each other and there's a few mini streets that connect them. I guess Kimmel Arena right behind me, this is where they play basketball I assume. And also driving down that road I realized that there was like four or five other dorms that I missed called like Gardner Hall and a few others. Those don't have as good of a view as the other ones but they do look smaller. And yeah that is pretty much UNC Asheville. Hopefully there's not a big portion of campus that I missed, but I think I got to most of it. Hopefully, if you're thinking about going to Asheville, this gives you a better idea of what campus is like. And if not, hopefully it was just entertaining to see what college here in the Appalachians is about. I've never been to App State yet, so I can't compare it to it. But because App State is so much bigger, I don't think it would be a fair comparison anyway. So yeah, this was UNC Asheville. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you later. Peace out. Also, as I very carefully tried my mom's car, it's also worth noting that UNCA is about a five to 10 minute drive from downtown Asheville, which is, I guess your pretty typical Southern mountain city downtown, maybe a bit bigger than average, but yeah, there's a lot to do there. So if you go here, you're probably gonna be spending a lot of time there. Cause like I said, campus is pretty small and I could see it getting boring a little quickly. And it's also just really convenient to have a downtown right there.